Let's now talk about reverse DSC. As I mentioned previously, reverse DSC is this technology that's built in natively inside of Office 365 that allows you to extract full fidelity configuration out of any existing tenant. Reverse DSC is not something that's specific to Office 365 DSC. We do have reverse DSC flavors for several technology streams. We have one for SharePoint on-premises. We have one for SQL Server DSC, for IIS, for Active Directory. Uh, so we do have different flavors of it, right? It's just a matter of going and grabbing the proper module. But when you install Office 365 DSC, it comes baked in. So the moment you install the tool, you're able to go and do extractions right away. So reverse DSC, as I mentioned, right? It's part of the tool. So the moment you do install-module Office 365 DSC, you're going to get a new commit that's exposed that is called export O365 configuration. So that commandlet, the moment you run it, it's going to launch a graphical user interface that allows you to granularly pick and choose what components you want to extract from your tenant. You can do a full extraction if you want and extract everything, but you can go and granularly pick and choose different components or pick an entire workload if you want to. Also, you can do unattended extracts if you want. We do support all the, uh, the same uh, extraction granularity that you have with the interface using unattended actions. So you can go on the office365dsc.com website, go in the Getting Started section, and you'll see all the options that are available to you for unattended extracts. Some scenarios that reverse DSC can be used for. Easy enough, like the first one that comes to mind is recreating an environment for troubleshooting. It's this idea where you have a customer that has a tenant and they're complaining about certain issues. You want to go and extract their configuration and replicate it in your own environment. That's one option. Be able to do point in time snapshots. So you want to do, let's say, monthly extraction of your tenant and then do a comparison between the two snapshots. So you take an extraction at the beginning of the month of March, you do another one at the beginning of April, and you do a delta analysis. What changed? What configuration change uh, has happened in the environment since April or since March? So do delta analysis, disaster recovery. One scenario that is extremely useful that might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but is this idea where you have your environment, your existing environment, and it's been running in production, it's working fine, you don't have any problems, you might not want to automate changes, but you want to leverage the monitoring aspect of DSC. So what you want to do is you basically use reverse DSC against your tenant. That will be the equivalent of asking your tenant, please tell me how you're currently configured. The tenant would send you that configuration, so the extract, and you just take that extract and you send it right back at the tenant saying, by the way, your current configuration has now officially become your desired configuration. So you don't change anything, right? You extract and you push right back. But that also tells the tenant from now on, any configuration drip, you need to report, right? So you're just onboarding an existing environment onto the SC and then keeping environments in sync. We're gonna do a demo of that, but I already mentioned uh, that scenario where you have one tenant that's your source of truth if you want and you deploy across multiple. So let's do a demo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my interface here again. And as I mentioned, let me just zoom in a bit here. The moment you have the module installed, you have access to this export O365 configuration commandlet. When you run that, that launches this interface here. Now, this is a new interface. So you see all the visual indicator, those circles, squares, and triangle. What we're trying to do is to come up with default extra extraction modes. So by default, we don't extract things like SPO site. We don't extract property bag, SPO user profile property. Those are the things I was telling you at the beginning that you may not want to control because site collections are meant to be dynamic in some nature. Uh, prop user property, uh, profile property, for sure, those are dynamic. User can go and change that. So you may not want to control that by DSC by default. It's there if you want to but we don't recommend you extract that uh, out of the box. So what you can do is you can actually change the mode. If you do light, only the green circles are going to be selected. You can go in and do, I want to unselect everything. I only want to go and extract, let's say, the DLP policy from one of my tenants. And when you do that, it's going to go and extract 
the uh, configuration only reflecting that component. What I want to do now is I want to show you a demo of what happens when you extract from one tenant and keep another tenant in sync with that configuration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect everything, but I'm only going to keep the team's team. Right. I'm going to provide the credential for another of my demo tenants, which is activate one on Microsoft.com. And I'm going to run this. So what it's doing right now is trying to extract all the teams from my activate one tenant. Now, this tenant, the account I used, is MFA enabled. So I need to do the MFA challenge. I'm going to take my phone. Sending me a code right now. I'm going to put in that code 534069. There you go. So at the same time, we're demoing an account that has an FA. It's going in. It's going to load the Teams PowerShell module and start extracting my Teams. So this tenant only has three Teams right now the default Microsoft one, one that is called Activate One Demo Tenant Sync One, and Activate One Demo Tenant Sync Two. It's going to ask me at the end where I want to store the extracted file. So I'm going to provide a path of CDSC. And in there, you're going to see my extracted file. And you see all my teams with all the properties, right? Do they allow guests to delete channels? Do they allow Giphy and so on? So my three teams are listed there. Perfect. So I have my extraction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile it using the credentials of the destination. So I extracted using Activate1 as the source, right? So credentials from a user that had admin access on Activate1. Now what I'm doing is I want to replicate that to my uh, sharing date 2 tenant, which is the tenant I've been using for my previous demo as well. So I'm going to do, do admin at sharing day 2onmicrosoftcom I'm going to compile it against that tenant. So now my file, my MUF file, has information about the destination tenant. I can go in now and do start ESC 0365 10 config, which is the configuration I just compiled. I'm just going to do wait verbose and force so that we can actually see the execution. And it's going in. And what it's doing now is actually recreating the same team structure on my destination tenant. So extract from one tenant, take that config, and push it over to another tenant. We're just going to give it a few seconds, but what I will see after this is that if I go back to my Teams admin center, it's going to say timeout, log in again, yes, thank you. In there, I should see my two teams being created. So the, um, uh, what was it, activate one, community share, ring day, tenant sync one and two. So I should see two custom teams uh, appearing in there. Let me just refresh that page real quick. How's the execution going? It's still going, so it's applying the configuration right now. And if I go to Teams, sometimes it takes a little while for Teams to actually appear. Uh, but you can see that the first one has already been created. And what about the second one? Oh, sorry. So that was the one. This is the one from the previous example. Uh, so the activate one tenant sync one has been created, and if I refresh again, I should see uh, demo tenant sync two appear as well. There you go. So I managed to extract from one tenant and replicate over the other tenant.